As we move through the lessons of this course, we will bring you nearer and nearer to the theropods most closely related to birds. The oldest known dinosaurs come to us from Argentina. They include these two fellows, Herrerasaurus and Eoraptor. We think that Allosaurids and many other carnosaurs had hand claws that functioned as grappling meat hooks. You can see a number of bird-like traits. Some of these traits are common to virtually all theropods. A bipedal stance, an S-curved neck. Therizinosauria all had beaks, and so too did the ceratosaurine Limusaurus. Archaeopteryx could, in fact, be a truodontid, or it could still very well be the first true bird. Birds swing their upper legs relatively little when taking steps. This is the wing of a pelican, and has been prepared so that you can see the relationship between the wing feathers and the skeleton. The cerema have an enlarged claw on the second toe, similar to that of Deinonychosaurus, establishing that the birds we see today are the direct descendants of dinosaurs ranks as one of paleontology's greatest scientific accomplishments. So join me on a fascinating journey into our planet's past. You're going to learn about one of the most magnificent groups of animals to ever walk the earth, and you're going to learn about their progeny. Animals that delight and fascinate us with their diversity, color, intelligence, and song. The birds. <laughs>